the best free AI upscaler in 2024 is probably going to be Upscale. I think this software is absolutely amazing. It comes with some key features like post-processing and batch upscaling, but that's not what this video is going to be about. Today, I'm going to show you a comparison between the six AI upscale models that come with the software. And I'm going to be comparing those six models across six different types of pictures. I'm going to rank and give each of these models a score, and then at the end, you can see which of these models is best for each type of project. Let me quickly introduce the models and then we'll get to the comparison. Comparisons. We have five general photos and a digital art model. Quick shout out to everyone on Patreon who's helping keep this channel sponsor free. More about how you can support at the end of the video. Here is the first image we're going to be comparing, this concept art of a knight. I have the six different upscaled outputs lined up here. On the left we have the ultra sharp, followed by the real, then the remacri, balanced in the four slot, digital in the five, and last but not least we have the fast real over here on the right. Now at first glance I don't know if you'll pick up the differences, but there are three locations on the image that I want you to look at. First is the logo here on the chest. The second is this chest plate below the face. And the third is going to be this silver lining on the hood. Now let's get to the scoring and let me quickly explain how that's going to work. I'm going to rank each of these one to six, one being the best score. In this particular video, we're going to want lower numbers, one being the best, six being the worst. And for this first example, let's start by identifying the worst. I was not a fan of the fast upscale model over here on the right. The logo looked a little blurry and perhaps the colors above were just a little too smooth. I'm not going to go into heavy detail about what I think of each model. This is just a very subjective opinion and you might have a completely different view on which model is the best. In fifth place, I gave it Remacri. And you know what? I tried to look up how to properly pronounce that word and I couldn't find anything. So I'm just going to keep saying Remacri. I'm sorry if that bothers you, but you'll see a level of detail that wasn't necessarily in the original image. A lot of thin detailed lines here on the collar, around the logo, and around the hood. I just wasn't a big fan. In fourth place came the real model. And it's around the fourth and third place where there is no real wrong answer. If you were quickly upscaling an image, I think that output would be fine. You know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal. And in third place, I'm going to give it to the balanced model. I think there's just enough texture added to the output around the hood and especially the collar. I think that looks so beautiful. At number two, I'm going to go with the digital model. Look how smooth the texture and the color is. So maybe that really is just a personal choice. The digital model is going to smooth out a lot in your image. Look at the collar, look at the logo. This logo compared to the others is so much more simple. All in all, I would say the digital model is probably the most clearly different than all the other models. And that's going to come with its ups and downsides. For this case, the 2D illustration, I'm a pretty big fan of digital. But in the number one spot, I'm going to give it to the Sharp model. Subjective personal choice, but I like the small details, the more rough texture that is added here. We'll move on to the next image, and then at the end, we'll add up all the scores and I'll show you the averages. The next example is this picture of a man sitting in front of a sports car. And immediately in last place, I'm going to go with the digital model. Everything is so smooth so smooth. It basically doesn't even look real anymore. You can see on his face there are no more details and the lining of the jacket looks cartoony. In fifth place is the fast model, also quite smooth in the face and the jacket does not look much better. Fourth place is actually going to go to the Remacri model. There are some weird artifacts here on his cheek. Ultimately, if you upscaled this and you zoomed in, you would probably be a little freaked out. I thought the leather on the jacket looked decent enough though, I'll say that. In third Third place, we're going with the sharp model. Looking sharp, pal, but as you can see, the skin, it's just, it's a little off, especially on the nose here. His tie looks a little funny, and the jacket color really isn't that bad. I like the way the light is hitting it, but still just something's off, right? Second place is going to the real model. The skin is still a little blurry, but I think his nose looks a little better, and his forehead really isn't that bad either. The jacket, maybe a little less detail. I don't know, I could go back and forth between the real and the sharp, if I'm being honest, which means in the number 
number one spot, we're going with the balance model. As you can see here, none of the models really did that well with skin texture. But out of all of them, and out of every part of the image, I think the balance model probably did the best with texture and color. Definitely up for debate though. Now on to number three, and we have the slightly faded image of a woman. There are three locations I want you to keep an eye on here. The first is this lower part of her hair. The second is her lips. And the third is the top of her hair. In last place, I'm going with the digital model. Looking at the three areas I mentioned, this just does not look good at all. Sort of looks like a low polygon level of smoothness, especially up here at her roots. Last place. In fifth place, we're going with the fast model. Very similar to the digital in those three areas. Not a fan of her hair or what it's done to her lips. In fourth place, we're going with the Remac remodel. Way too much interpretation done on her hair. It's, it's way too sharp. Way too many wrinkles in her lips. Not bad if you didn't have any other choice, but just not what I would choose for this particular example of a human. In third place, we're going with the real. And I think I'm a fan of that realistic blurring around her hair. Even though it's not perfectly HD, it just fits the vibe of the photo, and I think that's good enough for third place. In second place, we're going with the ultra sharp. I'm not really a fan of her lips here. I think there is too much detail, but her hair really shines. And in number one, we're going with the balanced. Between her hair and the color and detail on the lips, I don't think there's much more you could ask for from a free upscaler. And if I zoom in even more, I think she has the best skin texture with this model. The next example we're going to look at is this tile set catalog prompt. A beautiful design, but when you zoom in on one part of this image, you're going to start to see a clear difference. And we'll choose this yellow frame to focus on. I'll be completely honest, I did not like most of these outputs. So in last place, we're just going to go with the balanced model. What I was really hoping for was finer details and clear sections within the image. And I just don't think we find that here. In fifth place, we're going to go with the ultra sharp. It's better than the balance, but I still don't think it did a very good job. In fourth place, we're going with the remac remac model. It highlighted the imperfections, particularly on her left hand here. And in my opinion, that makes it even more noticeable. In third place, we're going with the real model. Much less detailed than the Remacri, but for some reason, I just think it kind of works better. So that's why I gave it third place. In second place, we're going with the fast model. And the thing with the fast model is that its output is generated much quicker. So you wouldn't think it would be better than some of the others. But in this case, I think it did a good job. No real rhyme or reason to that, but just comparing outputs, I think I'm a fan of this. And in first place, and I think this will be a theme moving forward that you'll notice, is the digital model. When you have a very flat image, the digital model might be your go-to. This thing did an amazing job for what it had to work with. It makes the imperfections look like part of the plan, especially in the left hand. It smooths everything out and you can't really tell that that isn't what it's supposed to look like. There are two more examples to go through and then we'll tally up the scores. The next example is a simple 2D image of a model. Smiling, having a good time, good use of contrast and colors. Now what I want you to pay attention to in these examples are the following. Her skin texture, the white background behind her, as well as the lines of her clothing. And we'll start off in sixth place, we're going with the Remac remodel. Way too much detail. Just way too much. Her clothes look kind of dirty, the background is very noticeable, and her skin texture looks a little off. For a 2D cartoon, I don't like that cross-hatching vibe. In fifth place, it is the sharp model. Strange detail was added, especially in the white of the background. You can also notice it in her skin as well as her clothes. Fourth place, we're going with the balanced model. It looks dirty. There's too much detail. You can notice it everywhere you look. From her hair to the background, skin tone, clothes, the lower part of the background. This did not turn out very well. In third place, we're going with the fast model. Look how smooth it is. Everything is quite crisp. Skin tone, colors, lines, background is vibrant. I'm a really big fan of this for sure. In second place, we're going with the real model. I think this has a better color palette than the fast model. Of course, again, that's up for debate, but notice the background, the lines separating her clothing, as well as her skin. I think this is just beautiful. And of course, by now, you should have guessed that the digital model worked amazing and came in first place in this comparison. Look how well it did in every area. 
the color of the background, the light shining on her from the background, the separation between her skin tone and her clothing, the shadow of her clothing. Every part of this image looks so beautiful. The digital model on digital looking images is just amazing. It can't be beat. That might be the overarching theme of this whole test. But now let's move on to the last example before we tally up all the scores. Here is a 3D render. Which model do you think turned out the best? The one main area we're going to be looking at is the hair, and I think all of them did a pretty good job for a 3D render type of image. In last place, we're going to go with the Remacri, but I don't really think it's that bad. I don't think it's the wrong answer. In fifth place, we're going with the Fast model. Fourth place is the Balance model. Again, the hair looks good. Third place is given to the Sharp model, and it's pretty close with the Balance. There really is not that much of a difference. In second place, we're going with Digital. The hair, admittedly, is not perfect, but I think the armor happens to look better with the digital model. And in first place, with a combination of hair and armor, we're going with the real model. This one example might have been too close to call. I'll accept any objection from the crowd. You can let me know what you see differently. But now let's go to the scores. You'll see how they did across each of the six images. And keep in mind, a higher score is not good. We want lower scores here. All in all, I added up the averages and here's what I found. In last place, with an average score of 4.83 out of 6 contestants, we have the Remacri model. This did not perform very well in any of the examples. In 5th place, with a score of 4.3 is the Fast model, and I don't think that should be a surprise. You're going to get quicker results that are maybe less desirable than some of the other outputs. I made a mistake while I was filming this, so I'm proud to say there was actually a tie for 3rd place. The bronze medal goes to both Sharp and Balanced, with a score of 3.17. In second place, the runner-up is the digital model with a score of 3, right in the middle most of the time. It had two last place finishes, which is to be expected when you're trying it on some more photorealistic images. It's just not going to perform very well. But then it had two second place finishes and two first place finishes. The digital model works amazing for 2D images. But overall, the first place is the real model with a score of 2.5, which is just funny that it won because it was quite middle of the pack. It had a fourth place finish, a couple third place, a couple second place, and one first place finish. So while it might not necessarily be the best for any given subject, if you're only going to use one model over your entire library, maybe the real model is the best choice for you. I hope you enjoyed that breakdown. I hope I made the upscale software a little easier to understand about how you should attack it and which models you should choose for your upscalers. Again, the software is free and will probably be your best bet for 2024. If you want first impression of AI news a few prompts per week and you want to help keep this channel sponsor free you can check me out over on Patreon your support would mean the world if you want to check out a comparison between upscale and Topaz photo AI you can check out this video here I hope you're doing well take care and I'll see you next time peace